Hi students, my name is Sakesh Shetty from AJ Engineering College, Bangalore. Today we are going to teach uh, Module 5, Rainwater Harvesting, uh, phase number 6 and 7. In, uh, in India, total uh, uh, total world's, 16 percent of total world's population holds and in that 4 percent of water is usable and uh, remaining water is uh, total unusable because of the population and um, and over usage so we need to conserve the water and we need to follow some rainwater harvesting method to collect and to collect water and recharge the groundwater so different techniques is there different rain har harvesting techniques we are following uh, uh, to improve the groundwater recharge so it will uh, increase the uh, groundwater level and it also prevent the rainwater pollutions to collect the roof water uh, techniques uh, and uh, roof water techniques to collect the roof water and uh, collecting in trench and it increase the groundwater recharge the, that is also improvement and as bore wells and uh, it, it will fill the water when rain season and it will increase the groundwater and the basin systems it it also one one basin to another basin water will transfer and it will also uh, uh, reduce the runoff and uh, infiltration will increase and it helps to water uh, to meet in dry season so this is the roof water techniques using pvc pipe and it will fill the uh, sums or uh, uh, tanks and it will increase the groundwater recharge and it will increase the soil moisture content it will help to vegetation uh, purpose and it also one of the important method and the water will collect in the pvc, PVC pipe and it is analyzed to the trench and it will increase the groundwater collecting systems so when uh, in these systems we can we are using the pvc pipe and we can uh, channelize the water for storage tank and it's having some soil particles and uh, we need to filter using sand bed filter and uh, after that filtration we can collect that water storage tank and that water we can supply to the public use so that is one of the techniques one of the one more technique is the rooftop we are collecting using pvc pipe and we are storing in that pits it seep to the soil and it will increase the groundwater table that's also one of the trench method uh, technique to increase the groundwater table and it is all it will fill the all the moisture content and it will increase the soil moisture content and it uh, it will improve the your groundwater level also so another one is roadside drain there is also one of important techniques when uh, rain falls some uh, water some drainage is collecting drainage is collecting all, some waters and this water is channelized to some some places and it will in, uh, seep into the soil in that place we are uh, uh, what artificially constructing some uh, lakes and in there we are um, this is one of uh, rural technique of uh, increasing the groundwater recharge and this is one of rainwater harvesting techniques and here one uh, bund is there uh, constructing across the uh, the one forest area when water will collect from this uh, bund and it will increase the uh, seepage of uh, water and it spreads out the moisture for uh, vegetation purpose and uh, this is this kind of small check dams uh, seasonally flooded uh, in forest area we can collect all the water and it will improve the groundwater recharge and all the water seep into the soil and uh, soil will fill with the moisture content and uh, uh, it will improve the groundwater and uh, increase the uh, groundwater level it's one of the best technique to improve the groundwater recharge if here we can see here one small dug well is there here the water will increase because of the soil moisture is increasing in that uh, place and automatically the so water will rise more so the so, so, so grow so plants will get uh, sufficient uh, water to to grow the availability of soil moisture is more and also the one and alternating rows of cultivated crops with rows of uh, uh, uncultivated grass this grass acts as a catchment to collect rainwater and then drains it to the crops next to it and this one this is improve the infiltration and also reduce the runoff and one of four system is contour or key line barriers are constructed perpendicular to the slope and their function is to intercept rainfall and increase the infiltration and reduce the soil erosion barriers are built from vegetative material in the stones or soil uh, and uh, this is also one of the method to increase the infiltration capacity of the soil and uh, other cross slope cross slope basin system use closed diamond or square shaped catchments surrounded by low earth buns where ideally wood trees are grown 
and sometimes micro catchment area lies outside the application area. This means rain is not collected where it is used. The land cover of this catchment area including cultivated land, roads or settlements. So that water we can collect in, in different way to provide uh, slopes and uh, to ro provide water in dry periods the collected water can be used for groundwater research or stored in, uh, in two types farm fund and uh, percolation tanks and uh, the sloping system when we are uh, providing slope in the ground surface the th three broad, broad categories in micro catchments one hillside system water flows downhill accumulates uh, barriers and another one is in stream bed system sand dams or check dams constructed across the uh, flow and flooded channels they are built from upstream to downstream to reduce the force of water flows and infiltrate water to control the erosion to uh, to inf increase the capacity of infiltration and diversion systems also they divert water from seasonally flooded channels to large area to low lying areas this is also kind of uh, and another one is land based rainwater harvesting systems to control soil erosion also enhance the ground water recharge this is also one of the things and this climate change of uh, also you know, very important uh, in to improve the ground water recharge and its uh, effect for systems here uh, this is on one of uh, drain uh, the dams uh, below the river bed they are installing that uh, install slope is 2.8 meter width and uh, 1.3.12 meter wide and here it's having small gaps uh, and uh, cement strikes are placing uh, along the length and uh, the water is inserting into these uh, small gaps and uh, this also water is seep into the surface of inside the surface of these dikes and this is 1.9 meter wide small uh, pipe is there at the time and semicircular shape that pipe and it's having one filtered uh, bed so water would filter into that bed and uh, the water is collecting in that small uh, semicircular pipes uh, this this is the way of collecting and this water is after that we can transfer to the public and the public can use this water for drinking or their agriculture purpose or uh, their daily use so what is the uh, difference between this is the reservoir dams construction and here that sedimentation time is uh, more and the cost of water purification also more but it's, this is underground dam here sedimentation time also less and cost of water purification also less and here water efficiency is more and here water efficiency is less and the maintenance cost or construction cost is also more in that uh, reservoir and here that uh, 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 recharge is more and uh, in 100 it has been practiced 100 years uh, ago in Assam, Gujarat, Karnataka and uh, Rajasthan and um, uh, we can say in uh, its uh, uh, ancient traditions given by the techniques uh, uh, we can say that in artificial uh, lakes uh, that is also they are used in olden days and it will increase the groundwater recharge and also this is uh, government of India and national water policy conserve the Indian water resources um, and uh, aim of this policy is uh, link the river basin and uh, transfer water from one basin to another basin and uh, this is uh, one of the techniques what I am saying is the different uh, river basin is there and it will transfer from one basin to another basin and uh, uh, what we can say that uh, national water policy all exhaust the general public to assist the government to conserve the water and traditional uh, uh, tra tra newly used